Hi, I'm Mayor Dave Snow, and we have a lot of citizens that email or call us and ask questions about throwing away their trash, calling for special pickup, or taking trash out to the landfill. A lot of people that have never been to the landfill say it's a little confusing. How do I take trash out there and how do I properly dispose of it? So today, we're going to take out some trash and we're going to take this to the landfill and show you how you can take your trash out there. Let's take a field trip. All right, so here we are at the new Paris Pike landfill. So if you've never been here before, this is what it looks like as soon as you drive in. And we're here with our director of sanitation, Pat Smoker. Hi, Pat, how are you today? Good, how are you? I'm great, man. Pat's gonna walk us through how to navigate the landfill once you're here. So the very first thing you do when you pull in is pull up on the ramp there at the scale house, show the person in there your ID, they'll see you're a citizen of the city, and then they'll send you on your way down there. They'll probably ask you what's in your car. We'll talk more about that when we get to the other side and we'll show you how to navigate that side of it once you come in with your solid waste. So now we're past the scale house and they probably asked you up there what kind of waste you have. You might have just one kind, you might have a whole truck full of yard waste because you were doing some yard work, or you might have mixed things. You might have a few old cans of paint, some general trash, and some stuff from your yard. Uh, so they'll direct you from there. So Pat, what are all these different areas when somebody drives out here how to throw away their stuff? Yeah, Mayor, so, so if an individual has household hazardous waste, which would be like batteries, propane tanks, fluorescent bulbs, they'll be directed kind of to this hut that's just past uh, the scale house. Um, we kind of have two roads of right off the pavement where you'll be able to stop. The first road here is mostly for recycling, so cardboard. You right out here, your number ones and two plastic, aluminum cans uh, from here. The other road over here is really for your, your brush, your solid waste, uh, which includes household waste and uh, bulky items such as furniture um, that can all be brought down to the tubs that are sitting right there. So we know now that my bag of trash that I brought, general waste, goes right over there. And that's where we're going to head next and throw this away. So we've come into the landfill and showed you how easy it is to come into the scale house and the different areas where you can dispose of your waste. But let's start off by talking about things you should not bring to the landfill. Pat, what are those things? Yes, Mayor, those, uh, we do not really accept, we accept TVs, but we don't want broken TVs. Uh, our recycling company that takes those will not take them broken. Um, we do not like to receive, um, we, you're Freon, if you have a uh, like a refrigerator or whatever, the Freon needs to be out of that before it can be brought in here. Um, we do not take, we take paint, but there's something called the paint filter test. So if you brought a lot of uh, heavy liquid waste, um, other than household hazardous waste that's in a jug, we don't accept that. Um, and those are pretty much the things we don't accept. And when you talk about the broken TVs, there are opportunities in the city for e-waste recycling. So. We'd encourage you to connect to those resources so you can still get those things recycled. Correct. Yeah, yeah, there are ways to do this. Again, like the refrigerators, you can, if you have the Freon out, we will accept it that way. Yeah. Um, yeah. If it's properly stored in a container, liquid waste can be brought in that way as well. Perfect. So. And then one more thing we want to talk about is special pickups. So let's say you've got that old sofa or something and you don't have the ability to get it to landfill, uh, but you don't want to just put it out and risk a ticket from code enforcement. How do you schedule a special pickup and have someone come to you to pick that up? Correct, so special pickup, uh, we've recently expanded that mm -hmm. um, program, but special pickup can call 983-7450, which is the sanitary district number. 983-7450, write that down. Correct, and uh, we will come pick that up, and that's anything you cannot fit in your Rosie Roller, um, but it includes, that is uh, solid waste. So this is furniture, um, appliances, this is brush, and there's some rules on sizing on all of this. Um, and we will come collect all that for you. The things we do not want to pick up in special pickup would be construction waste or tires. They can be brought to landfill for a fee, um, but they are not included in special pickup. So make sure you make that phone call, schedule that special pickup, and do it the way you're instructed, or bring it to the landfill to avoid uh, citations from code enforcement. Correct, and special pickup, and any of the material we talked about bringing out here um, is all free of charge for uh, residents of Richmond. So we're trying to be your partners. We want to make this easy for you and give you all the information that you need, again, to keep your area clean and beautiful and dispose of your waste.